Okay. Good morning, Oklahoma. Welcome to Cow Calf Corner. You know, it's that time of year that we've got breeding season just around the corner and beef herds that are going to be calving in early January. We're really only a few weeks away for right now from bull turnout. Accordingly, it's the time of year we give consideration to the things we need to think about in terms of how many bulls and what do we do with our bull battery to prepare for that breeding season that's coming up. The objective of any breeding season is to try to get as many cows bred early in the breeding season as possible so we have as many calves born that following breeding season as possible and we've got older calves at the point we wean and accordingly more pay weight whenever we're actually weaning those calves. Considering that calves gain about two pounds a day from birth to weaning on average, a cow that gets bred one heat cycle sooner equates to about 40 pounds more weaning weight. So as we think at this time of year about how many bulls we're gonna to need to turn out, we wanna address bull to female ratios kind of from a conservative and a rule of thumb standpoint we would say that a yearling bull that has passed a breeding soundness exam should be capable of getting about as many cows bred as he is months of age at the beginning of breeding season when we turn him out. So if we're looking at a 12 month old bull that we're gonna turn out right now, if he's passed a breeding soundness exam, we should expect him to cover about 12 cows for us over our defined breeding season, whether that's 45 days or 90 days. For every month, that we add to that bull's age at the beginning of breeding season, he's good for about one more cow. So if we're turning out 15 to 18 month old bulls, about 15 to 18. As that bull gets closer to two years of age, if we're turning out a two year old bull, we ought to expect about 25 cows out of him. And beyond the age of two, bulls ought to be good for about 25 to 35 cows of breeding season. And we would expect our bulls to be prime of life up to about the age of six. So if we think about how many seasons of service we'd expect to get out of a bull, I always liken it to a professional athlete. From the time they're a yearling and they pass that BSE, each successive year we continue to use them. As we've pulled them at that age of six breeding season, it's not that they couldn't last a few more breeding seasons, but the reality is they're more likely to break down on us in the middle of a breeding season and somewhat like a professional athlete that gets to the age of 38 or 40, you don't hear about a lot of those continuing to play past the age of 40. It's not that there isn't some Tom Brady's in the world that are still winning Super Bowls at age 44, but we're a lot more likely to hear about athletes retiring at some point in their 30s. So, Something to keep in mind there as we think about typical life expectancy. If we want to translate that to the amount of cows that they're going to service and settle over their lifetime, well, six breeding seasons and those basic ratios we're talking about from the time they're yearlings till the time they're six, we'd expect a bull to cover about 155 to 160 cows if we're using him one breeding season a year. Obviously, if we're in situations where we may use them spring and fall, if we're one of those type operations, we bump that number up even more. Uh, other things to consider as we look at putting together bull purchases is the social behavior of bulls as such. They're gonna wanna fight and establish a pecking order if we mix them together. So if we're going around to bull sales this spring, it's good to, to mix bulls that are the same size, same age, as close as possible about a month before we're gonna be turning them out. That's gonna give them time to fight and argue and establish a social dominance or pecking order. By the time we turn them out with cows, they're gonna be ready to go do their job. So just some things to keep in mind. We are very fortunate in the state of Oklahoma to be blessed with a number of great purebred seed stock breeders. There's a lot of bulls that are available for sale and a lot of opportunities to improve the profit potential of our herds through investing in superior genetics. Thanks for joining us this week on Cow-Calf Corner.